hello let's create uh, this surface this surface here indent yeah it looks simple but is a good one for for you to understand some of the ways to use Creo parametric and as usual I like going back to how the design was for those who want to recreate this one for ease of practicing okay of course I said for the surface modeling is good habit to always create your model using a boundary and this one is a first boundary and if you can see this one here yeah? this one will define boundary then this one here will define side profile let me just go to default like that i got that one here let's see this one here yeah you can see to define side profile we have another datum plane let me show the datums this is side profile i think you can change color yeah let me see yeah we have the side profile let me hide this plane another another plane because this side profile and this profile are different we have another profile here another sketch here because when you view from this side when you view from this side like that you can see this edge is different from this and this one is also you can also try to make to if you go from now this plane here also you can see we have another one we can intersect those two in other card softwares they say project yeah then you can sweep let me first for hide this i'm just explaining this for those who want to model this for the purpose of practicing then if you sweep this let's go to sweep select here like that i'm using normal to projection my projection is top plane this one here can show basically i want this profile here to be always normal to the top profile this arrow indicates the direction of projection if you change the direction you see this profile will always be normal you can see like that and this chain is like a boundary assume it's a boundary you can have several chains but therefore as the as you as you see across the curve the section can vary the reason why we have variable section but when you select constant this a constant doesn't vary you can see but when i select variable we can vary the cross section of your profile okay let me now hide this a little bit we don't need this let me hide them i also don't, I also don't need this hide it we have this one here because i want not to trim you can see i'm trimming that yeah this are just yeah, yeah if you want to do some practice you can also create such curves they are not then they're just for trimming yeah if you want to trim that's how you do about it now let's now start you now the actual task the actual task is to create that indent i have the first sketch here yeah I like preparing my sketches to save time because there's no need for me to create uh, these sketches as you watch therefore i have this one here this is well this one defines the boundary as i said in surface modeling 
always use boundary. This line, we'll see the purpose of this line. This first for continue, I have like that. In fact, let me go to the wireframe for ease of visibility. Next, I have another sketch here. They said, you can see, these two sketches are separated by the line that was in our boundary. I don't need I don't need to define line. Define them later. Then here I'm just concerned on the surface profile only. These are two sprints and they are using the boundary I defined in my previous sketch. Therefore, in surfaces, always try to separate sketches. Sketch one, sketch two to always reference the previous sketch instead of defining this one here. You can see now I have reduced the number of dimensions. I have this one here. This one I'll just, yeah. You can see I've reduced dimensioning a lot. Again, another boundary here. And another, the middle section. Similar thing. Therefore, this one here present if you view if you if you go back to the video when we started you could see this one this one uh, represents the top view and this one the top section and this one is the bottom bottom section here therefore let's now go back to shaded with edges and we can now I want now to cut the surface first using this okay and there are two ways you can do that i said you can either extrude this and cut through or you can project this chain onto this surface using which direction this plane like that you can see now we have this and you can now trim this surface using this like that. That's one way we can do that. Let me just suppress them. Or we can just extrude here. Yeah. You can just extrude from bottom to top. You just yeah, you can also do that. Another reason why I have this curve, this line, is because it will because I wanted this sketch to have a snapping point. Because now, now I have this, but I need indentation. Therefore, I'm going to create a datum curve through points. You see now, when I hover in this edge, I can now select. There's no point here for me to select, but I can create points on a fly. This point can snap. You can see snapping there. I have the snapping point that came from this sketch. See the sketch here. Therefore, then if I proceed, I can use this this point as my snapping point. And if then here I can say tangent to this face, tangent to this one here. You see? Okay, and uh, but you see, once you use this method, when you select these two uh, points, we are creating almost a straight line. But for me, I want it to indent a little bit. You can use options. If you go to options, you can tweak curve. You go to the tweak curve settings. And you can have these points here whereby you tweak them a little bit. But now, as you see, they are not moving because we need not to fast forward deselect the option we had defined here of tangency. Therefore, let's go, let's fast forward make them free and go back to tweak settings. And now you can be able to tweak. Therefore, you have to make sure that these are free for you to be able to tweak the curve. 
let's go to top view which is not ideal top you can now try to position how you want like that yeah maybe yeah so now let's use that for ease for, for just for explanation yeah but the best thing to do is if you want to have a good control you can create some points here assume these are points then create your your curve through the points yeah if you want to have that level of control now you have our curve like that yeah therefore i have my curve here let me just suppress this okay let me the curve i had created here you can see i'm using free when you go to options tweak curve settings just move them around yeah like that yeah okay okay therefore this curve is going to define our surface profile because we are going to sweep we're going to sweep along let's see the sweep here this sweep is a constant hence i'm using normal to trajectory okay I know maybe sometimes you might ask when can I where when and when can I use normal or projection? I'll make an, another video whereby I will now go into deeper details on when to use normal to trajectory, normal to projection, and constant normal direction. And this one constant normal direction is most used when designing molded parts because the, when, this, the, when the plastic is being ejected from a mold, you have you want to have a constant direction. I'll go to deeper details in later on this, but now let's stick to the normal to trajectory, and that's your curve, and sweep it like that. I know some I know someone might be now guessing the next step, yeah. I can see maybe you are right it is to take this one here and project it because we want to cut outside you project it to the surface and trim you're going to trim this script using this one here but keep inner side you see then next we do what we combine those two using what we call boundary pro boundary surface yeah now that is then boundary surface you select this and this edge let's see where it is because i want to explain something here this edge to this edge and we're using what we call a curvature continuous here condition but you can see i have i've not stretching the bottom one if you view this one, let, let me view a little bit, you can see the bottom one is more stretched. You see this line, it's more stretched than this. Let's see how you can change that. If on, if all this one to be less stretched, you just go to this value and put maybe 0.5. You see now it becomes less stretched. If you go to this one here, you can stretch it more. Now this one is more stretched. Therefore, whatever you want to change here, you can do that. Yeah. Let me go back to where it was, maybe 0.3. Then this one, to make it to 2. But you see now, I don't have control of this curve. You see this curve here? For this curve, you can also define a curve. And this curve becomes your second direction. If you want to control this design here instead of instead of using stretch value okay um i think let me just create this because there's something i want to illustrate it is easier if i create this one this one here uh oops that's one control and this first thing you see the white dot is on the different 
uh, side this white dot and this white dot has to be on the same side you can rotate it snap is there but you see now we have we are creating some segment we have this segment we have this segment of this segment let me first for do curvature and do a curvature here still have this segment but I want this surface to be one continuous if you preview you see we have a segment here and in surface modeling you have to reduce you have to make sure that your surface uh, is continuous what you do if you go to control points control points is what enables the surface to add uh, two surfaces to merge or to connect and this point is called control point if you go here you can see we have not defined because these ones are called control points see these green ones they are called control points here you don't have a control point yeah you don't have a control point you can define this edge and say this edge should this control point should be here and this for this should be here or you can do piece to piece when you do piece to piece it combines the control points that is when you do piece to piece go back to natural you see but when you do piece to piece fancy they disappeared okay yeah therefore you have to use piece to piece therefore can cancel that like that therefore i want this one to stretch on the second one here you, you might ask yourself how do i know which is which i know that one is the bottom one and when i change the order by which you selected is how they are arranged here this is the first one i selected and i want it to be 0.4 like that and say okay you can see my surface has been created that's what i wanted to illustrate but i can suppress it and continue here what's this sweep yeah this one's just forget about them suppress them you can see that's how we can now we can use boundary blend then i want this surface area to be exact certain amount of value when i go to the analysis measure area i'm getting 17,000 here 17,000 okay let's save this area save it at the same time make area um i can say maybe area maybe you can say photo uh dent area identification area something like that i know it's 17 thousand and it is here if you go here to the feature information i can see on the local parameter is 17 thousand millimeter cubic i want i want to make this area exactly 15,000 or 18,000 18,000 by changing the, the this the dimension the height i want to vary the height of this and with this height until i get 18,000 i'm targeting 18,000 I go to the feasibility anal sensitivity analysis. If I vary this dimension here, before I do that, um, I want to go to the sketch here to change these dimensions to be always nominal. Uh, okay. Let's delete it. And dimension again. The setting, this a setting. I can figure out how it is making my dimensions to be 
yeah to have a tolerance okay let's continue we go to the sensitivity i want to change this dimension here 165 from from 165 because i want to increase the area let's just, let's just use 150 to 200 if this was to change from 150 to 200 and let's see what happens to this parameter and you can use 51 the reason why i'm using 51 is you take the maximum minus minimum you get 50 plus 1 okay uh, you can animate model if you want but because of time i don't need to animate let's see You can see the reason why I said 51. You can see now the the increments here is one point. If you if you change that value to 50, you will see decimal places here on the on this plot. You can see the dent area is increasing. What is happening in the background? Changing this dimension, performing everything again, measuring the area, change dimension again. Performing if, if everything again that is creating the boundary blend and creating the area, it's a lot of work. Having all of those combinations to get a certain value. To be almost there. And this one is so, this one, sensitivity helps you to know, to narrow down to a, a specific value. Because from 165, I don't know the value that can make this area exactly 1800, it is where. Right now, I can see from here, I can see from here is between 170 and 180. But still, this one is a quite big range. I can go here. I want to go to the X axis setup. I want to use 170 and 180 I oh, know now for me to get 1800 uh, I see it is around 174 I can see for me to get 1800 that dimension must be, must be 174 now I know the an answer it might be 173 point something yeah or exactly 174 that is when now you perform what we call visibility whereby you say I know the dimension this I know this dimension it is supposed to be between 172 to 176 around there or 170 you can use 170 as well to 180 because this might be a quick one i know that's the dimension where i'll get my value the parameter i want this value to be exactly 18,000. okay and please, can you make sure that the value is within 0.0001% accurate? Then I want you to graph constraint variables, the optimization method, continue using GDP, the default one, and can you compute? Yeah, it will optimize until it gets that exact value. Okay, as you can see, after one iteration, after one iteration, we are able to get exactly 18,000 here. If you close here, if you close this, confirm, now you can see my area is exactly 18,000. Yeah, therefore, it, and the dimension is 173.8. It is it it would be so difficult for you to determine this dimension without performing that analysis. Okay. Yeah. Thank you and stay tuned for more such uh, such concepts in Creo. Share the video and like.